Hello again. So this time we talk about factoring. The factoring case, we can divide two different scenarios. The first, any polynomial terms share any common factor. If, we, if we, they do, then we just factor by the greatest common factor. But there's no or no more common factor, then you, we use maybe grouping, maybe trinomial factoring method, or binomial factoring, or special binomial factoring method at the time. So, through this video, we focused on talking about factoring by greatest common factor, and then if the time allowed us to cover more, then I can cover maybe grouping or other methods as well. So let's look at these first two questions. So number one, so 6y minus 42. So 6y, if you want to make a prime factorization, it becomes 6 times y and then 2 times 3. And 42 means 6 times 7 and then 2 times 3 again. Therefore, these two terms share the common factor 2 and 3. Or, we can simply say 6 as well. So, now I'm going to let you know one method that I think is easier to understand. So, please follow me. So, I'm going to write 6y minus 42 and draw the L shape here. Now, when you look at two terms carefully, so first term has number and the variable, which is 6 and y, and second term is a number, only 42. So now we can guess two terms only share constant common factor. Now, you can see 6 right away, just factor by 6. So like this, then remainder y and 7. And now, just make a L shape multiplication. At the time, make sure the left over term become covered by parentheses. Then answer become 6 times y minus 7. But sometimes you may not notice that 6 is a common factor. Then you can just using basic for prime number. So my recommendation. 2, 5, 3, 7 in order, and then you can try that. So, let me show you uh, using this prime number case. Same thing, through the L shape here. So, out of four, 2, 5, 3, 7, so I told you we start from 2. Is 2 working for both terms? Yes, then just do it. So, 2 and 3y and 21 here. So 3y and 21, so 2 is not working anymore. What about the 5? No. 3? Yes. So 3 then becomes y and now 7 here. Same thing, we cover by the leftover term in the parentheses and making multiplication form then this become 2 times 3 times y minus 7 simplify then this become 6 y minus 7 so as you see you know both cases we got the same answer 6 times y minus 7 of course it may be better you just find out the greatest common factor at once but if not you can do step by step. You know, each number first and then gradually using the other numbers. Now, let's look at second example. So, 4x cubed minus 12x squared plus 28. So, the first two terms, so 4x cubed and 12x squared, so they are composed like a number and the variable, which is x like 4 times x cubed and 12 times x squared. But the third term is only constant. Therefore, if this polynomial have the same common factor, 
then there will be only constant common factor. Of course, we have x here, then now we have constant common factor, and there was one variable common factor as well. But obviously, this time there's no x, the last term. So, we can only guess constant common factor. So, so follow me again. 4x cubed minus 12x squared plus 28. If you find 4 is the common factor, then please just do it. Okay? So then this becomes x cubed minus 3x squared and plus 7. And then re-evaluate whether x cubed, 3x squared, and 7, those three terms share any common factor. Obviously not. Therefore, cover by parentheses and make a multiplication shape then 4 times x cubed minus 3x squared plus 7. What about you don't notice that 4 is a common factor? Then as we did we, uh, as we did the previous question, you can start from 2 and then 5 and then 3 and 7 and check the, the, those numbers can be common factor. So let me show you here. So 4x cubed minus 12x squared plus 28. I draw the L shape again. Now is 2 working? Yes. Then we begin from 2. Then this become 2x cubed minus 6x squared and plus 14. Now, is 2 working again? Yes. Then please do by 2 again. So 2x cubed minus 3x squared and plus 7. As you see, this term doesn't have any constant. So obviously, these three terms don't have any more common factor. Then now, cover by the parentheses and make multiplication form. Then this becomes 2 times 2 and x cubed minus 3x squared plus 7. Therefore, answer become 4 times x cubed minus 3x squared plus 7. So throughout those two problems, uh, we discussed the simple case, the factoring using the greatest common factor. So next video, we cover a little bit harder question, they also we factor by a common factor.